Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to clone your Windows system drive to another drive and make it bootable using a free app called MultiDrive. So we've done many videos on many different cloning apps uh, with most of them being free. So we do actually have a playlist with all of those apps you could check out and this would be part of it. All right, so once you download and install the app, you just need to run it. So what we're going to do is we have this disk zero here with Windows on it which is a 75 gig drive and we're going to clone it to this new drive that has 120 gigs on it so it's just online so unallocated space so there's no volume so you don't have to make a volume first or give it a drive letter you could just put in the drive uh, make sure it's you know initialized so it's online and then we'll take it from there all right so let's close this out we'll open up multi drive All right, so there's several options here. You can do clone, backup, restore, erase if you want to erase some data. Uh, so we'll probably do a video on the backup feature eventually too. All right, so we're going to go to clone. All right, so you just need to pick your source. So here is our 75 gig C drive and then our destination, the 120 gig drive. Then you have some options here. If you want to change the space allocation here. Like so, if you want to leave some unallocated space. And if you want to have it mount the target drive upon task completion. But I'm going to turn that off because I'm going to remove the original drive. So we just have the new 120 gig drive in there. And then we'll boot it up with that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click on clone. So you have to type in yes to confirm that you are cloning the drive. And you need to unplug the target drive before rebooting. I'm not sure why it says unplug the target drive. I would think it should say unplug the source drive. So you could use the target drive, but regardless, you still have to type yes. Now it says the target drive contains data. Overwrite it, even though it doesn't contain data. We'll say yes. But anything on that drive will be overwritten, so keep that in mind. All right, so now it's going to start the process here. We're going from the 75 gig drive to the 120 gig drive. All right, so we will pause the video and then be back when this is complete. All right, so the process is complete. So let's close this out. Let's go back into disk management here. Okay, you can see we have the new drive here with some unallocated space. So it didn't actually use the free space. So you can expand that later if needed. So it made it offline here, most likely, so you don't have a conflicting OS drive, I suppose. All right, so now what I'm going to do is shut down the computer, take out the 75 gig drive, and then see if I could boot up to the 120 gig drive. All right, so far looking good. We have a Windows logo. All right, let's take a look at disk management here. All right, so now we have our 120 gig drive here. All right, so one thing you might run into if you are cloning to a larger drive is that you have this recovery partition in the way of your extra space there, so you can't expand that. But there is an easy way around this using the free Niubi Partition Editor software. Which I have here. So there is an installable version and a portable version. So I'm using the portable version. So there's nothing to install. So just download it and run the executable. Close this here since we're going to be making some changes. All right. So you can see here, here is the partition blocking our space here. So if you right click on it, go to resize move volume, take this, drag it to the end here. So now it's at the end and the C and the unallocated space are next to each other. So you have to click on apply to have it take effect.
Okay, so now we could either right click here and merge the volumes, or we could go back here, and now you can see that they're next to each other. Right click, extend volume. And now we're using all of our space for the drive. Alright, so once again, just download and install multi drive. Go to the clone option, pick your source and target. I don't have two drives installed anymore, so I don't have the option to choose a target. And then set any options, click on clone, and then swap your drives out, and you should be good to go. But I will say, you should probably make a backup of your personal files first before running anything like this, just in case something goes wrong. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download multi drive and you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.